Hello guys, welcome to another interesting session of your favorite YouTube channel, my project ideas. Today the topic of discussion is factorial of a number. So you guys know how to find out the factorial of a number, right? We have done it multiple number of times. So what is two factorial? It's two into one. It is two. What is three factorial? It's three into two into one. It is six. So today we are gonna do a coding algorithm how to find out the factorial of a number. Today we will be writing two different codes. One will be the normal code and one will be an efficient code. So you will get to know the usage of DSA today. Okay. So what is the factorial of a number? Just forget about the historical note. This I have written for your uh, like uh, knowledge or for your curiosity. So it was introduced by a French mathematician that is Christian Cran. It's not required. The definition of a factorial of a number is the factorial of a non-negative integer n is product of all positive integers less than or equal to n. So if you say what is the factorial of 5, how do you find out? 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. How do you write the factorial of a number or what is the notation of it? It is represented by the number followed by an exclamation mark. You write a factorial like that, like 6 factorial, that is 6 and exclamation mark. Example, the factorial of 6 denoted as 6 factorial is calculated as 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. That is 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. That is 720. Okay. Factorials are very important in mathematics where, where there are certain uh, questions of permutations and combinations. And where you have to find out the total possible outcomes. So, how do you write the factorial of a number? n factorial is n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 up to 1. Got it? So, guys, in the PPT section, I explained you about the factorial concept, how to get the factorial of a number, what is the time complexity. We saw two methods, like uh, we can write a naive method also and an efficient method also. So, here we are going to write the naive method first which will have a time complexity of big O of n and a space complexity of big O of n. And then subsequently we are going to write or code the efficient approach whose time complexity will be big O of n only, but its space complexity will be big O of 1. Okay. So first let's create a new file. Factorial knife.file. So let's begin writing the code. Uh, so def real taking a parameter n right here. Then if n is double equal to zero or n is double equal to one, we have to return here one. Return one. This is wrong. We should return one. So now let's write down the iterative approach. So indentation is very important, guys. So return because it's Python. So in your indentation is very, very, very crucial. Factorial of so this is basically recursion. This we are writing using recursion. So because we will be using the recursion call stack here, hence your time complexity will be go of n and space complexity will also be big of n. I already explained it. Now let's write the main function. For number, let's put the number as 5. We have to type 5 factorial. And let's have the printing statement. So print factorial of your number. Sorry. Number is real number. No. Parameter is number. Okay. Now we have to write the main function. Like the call the main function. So if name double equal to Main. Okay, 
let's save it i did something wrong here ah i forgot it so factorial of 5 is 120 okay now let me clear it the terminal and what we are going to do is we are going to create another file here it create another file here and name it factorial effective or efficient so now we are going to write the efficient code where we are not gonna use the uh, recursive method and the time complexity here will be reduced to big of one so it's an efficient code Again, let me write, let's take the parameter n, let's write a resultant, let's now declare a variable called resultant and have one there, then here this is an iterative approach, i in the range, so the, because I have already taken resultant to be one, so now the range will be 2 to n plus 1, now, Resultant into equal to i. That means resultant equal to resultant into i. And now we'll return. Now let's write the main function. F main. Again, I forgot the column there. So don't do this silly mistakes. Num is equal to 5. And print. Factorial of a number is factorial. Okay, the parameter is passed. Now let's write the let's call the function. Like write the calling function name double equal to then double quotes write main colon and code let's save it and let's run you got factorial of 5 is 120 so this is efficient because the time complexity re remains the same that is big o of n but this space complexity here has been reduced to big o of 1 so i hope you understood both the codes the naive one and the efficient one also and i hope you enjoyed it so let's wrap the session for today and stay tuned for the upcoming videos happy coding and happy learning guys bye bye